Hello, what's up and welcome to Setios Reviews. This time I have a cool uh, USB hub in here. It's also a charging station, so... It's already kind of open. Hmm, someone's messed with it. This this delivery company, they're just terrible. Look at look at that, it's all smushed up. Why, why would they do that? Just stop smushing my stuff. <laughs> that reminds me of one of the Fail Army videos where... Um, these uh, delivery guys, I think it was Royal Mail, uh, where they scared each other and the guy who was outside, actually it was a girl who was outside with a package and she like just bah! and dropped it on the floor on the ground. <laughs> that's that's not good guys, don't don't prank like that. That's, that's where my stuff is all smushed up, I don't like this. But uh, okay, so. Uh, so this is powered USB hub which is really cool. Yeah, ow. Let's open this up. We have Oki sticker in here. The famous Oki sticker. I keep showing them every time. It's like a key thing in here. See? Like comes out from here. See? Oki. Get it? And it's like this from here. I don't know why they even put them in here. But, well, it's cool to have them. You can stick them on anywhere. <laughs> right. So, the hub itself is like that. I like this material. This is really nice. That's like rubbery um, kind of thing, see? <sighs> like a ninja. Uh, this looks absolutely amazing. Look at that. That's on off button. That is the USB in, DC in. Uh, also, about these USB hubs, I highly recommend only the... Oh my god, stop kinking them. See, it's messing up my words. <laughs> Uh, right, anyway, I only recommend the powered USB hubs because the unpowered ones I've had had bad experience with those, like two or three of them just broke on their own. But the powered ones like this, like where's DC in specifically, these are really good. So, we have seven ports, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, and one, two, three charging ports. See, these are green, the charging ports. Uh, what does it say? 2.4 um, 2 amps uh, maximum. That's that's a lot of power. Wait, 2.4 at 5 uh, la, 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 5 watts. That's about about 15 something like this. A little bit less uh, watts. Well, that's that's more power than you need in any of the USB devices. So that's a lot. Uh, so it has 4 watts at no milliampere hours. Wait, what? Uh, that's 4 amperes. Yeah, that's 4 amperes then. I don't know why it's 4,000 milliamperes. That's 4 amperes. Uh, for 12 watts, that is um, 4 by 12. That's 12, 48. 48 watts, so... It's not actually that much. Yeah, it's not that much, actually. 48 watts of power. But, well, that is the case anyway, so... Uh, did, did I do the math correct? Yeah, I did. So that's how much power this gives. And it comes with USB cable, obviously. See, I have a power bank in here, so I'm going to power this one from here and see if anything happens. Uh, no, it needs power. Oh, whoops. <laughs> yeah, it needs power from the power adapter, I think, so. But this is really useful thing. You can charge your phones from it and plug all your devices in here. But uh, as usual, I mentioned about the USB hubs is that if you uh, connect this to your PC, it doesn't turn one port into seven. No, no, no. If you connect USB 2 devices in here, then yes, you can use 10 of them at the same time, but it only has seven ports anyway, so. But if you use the USB 3 devices, then you can still use only one at a time because uh, USB bandwidth for the USB 3, it's still the same it doesn't turn the bandwidth of one port into seven ports. I hope this makes sense. It's basically like if your internet is like uh, 10 megabits per second and you connect like uh, 10 computers to it, to your router, to your internet, then it doesn't mean that each computer has 10 megabits per second. It means that only the incoming has the speed. I hope this makes sense. So. Uh, I'm mentioning it because a lot of people are plugging those things in and then they put everything in their PC into the hub and then they're wondering why it's not working. Well, the bandwidth runs out, that's why it's not working. 
But anyway, I'm going to plug it in and I want to see this uh, power indicator work. Right, so the power is on and let's press the button. <laughs> there we go. All that for just this tiny light. But it's on, so you can easily turn your devices off if you want, so that's useful. It will still power it from here, by the way, if you connected it to PC, but it's better to always have the external power on rather than off. That's what it's for, so... Usually, most of the devices, the problem is coming from the power issue that the hub is not getting enough power from the single port rather than the bandwidth, but, well, here you have the awesome Okia charger and USB hub, and I will see ya next time.